What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter, and I begin asked a lot of questions about the music business from a lot of upcoming artists. Since people know I got a lot of connections in the business, they ask me what's they moves they need to make in order to have a successful career. I sat with this question for a while, then I thought about it. Instead of coming up with an answer myself, I called up one of my homies. It's DJ Meal Ticket. This guy's uh, G Herbo, aka Lil Herb DJ, Top Shot of DJ. He worked with a lot of your top artists in the business so i asked him a lot of shit about how this music shit go he kept it 100 then run from it so i need y'all to do me a favor check out this exclusive interview was in them streets nights working hard never sleep i ain't no never granted that was it to me i ain't see no family was nobody fucking with me sitting in that trap got 150 cluckers with me no bullshit go my bitch i serve the city what up big guy Yo, yo, what it do, my nigga? What's happening? Chillin', bro. I appreciate you giving me a chance to chop it up with you, bro. Man, it's all good, man. Man, I get so many upcoming artists hitting me, bro, asking me how do they get in this music business. They be asking me for all kind of advice. So I figured I'd hit you up. Okay. I get so many messages, bro, from upcoming artists asking me how to get in this music shit, bro. And I thought about it for a while, so I figured I'd call you up, big guy. Yeah. What's some of the steps? To, what's some of the steps, bro? Well, man, some of the first steps is like just being serious and uh, keeping their craft so serious, staying consistent. Um, if they don't got that, I'm an investor. Just, uh, just put a little money to the side, don't get in there, I'm investing their own stuff. Uh, that's the thing. Is it, because I hear a lot about the investing. Is it more talent or is it really more money wise? Well, like, I mean, it all depends, though, like, on how they talent is, though. And then, like, you know what I'm saying? Look, I got somebody that's kid and want to recognize it. And uh, I'm going to throw on my hand. I don't want to look out no hand up. Right. But, you know what I'm saying? It takes money to make money. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of money in the music business, but, you know what I'm saying? They got to um, invest on it, though. That's why, like, some people got managers, though. They got to understand, though, like, um, like, um, the manager is being the manager. And you got some managers there to be the diesel, uh. and they'll be like, you know, they're like another position. So they, so they want to uh, uh, um, consider that a big check when they come. That's, uh, you know what I'm that's true. Is it? Because I hear a lot about videos are real important too. Is 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 that more important than like? Because uh, I see a lot of upcoming artists, they just drop songs with like a picture. Is the visual real important? Yeah, because they gotta match the name up with the face. So you see, that's why like. Like, I ain't an artist, though, you know what I'm saying, though, but I'm an entertainer. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, uh, I'm a host and a producer, though, you feel me? So, right. like, so, and, 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 and for people to know who I am, shit, like, you know what I'm saying? I do interviews, though, too. Right, I've been like, checking them out. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just, man, it's all shit, because you got to do it. Uh, I can't hear you no more, bro. Um, uh, I told, uh, uh Right. You know, Meal Ticket, I know you probably been doing this shit for a while too, bro. It's a lot of DJs in the city. How did it get to the point where you the go-to guy, bro? Man, you gotta be consistent, you know what I'm saying? And I be in these streets, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, I be in the streets of politics with the, uh, the people, you feel me? Shit, I'm for the people. Right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't nobody that just... Came out the woodwork and said, Oh man, I'm from over here. Right. And you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you can ask somebody and they be like, No, he ain't from over here. He's from the suburbs. <laughs> the suburbs, I'm from Eaglewood, are you feel me? Right. Because I so seen, and you know what's crazy too, out of nowhere, I'm not sure if this has been going on for a while, but out of nowhere, it's like one day I woke up in the morning and my mixtapes was the top app company, music download company in this year, bro. How did you get involved with them? Well, like, I reached out to them about, like, going on, uh, three years now. Right. And so I had a co-sign up from Lil Durk. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's my brother right there. Happy birthday to Lil Durk. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, um, a few others, and then, you know what I'm saying? They was all right now, was I was looking at the league, you know, so I'd be rotating with all the street niggas. Right. And just, uh, trying to get them heard. Right. And so when I reached out to them, though, we just had a meeting, and, you know what I'm saying? They flew me out. You know what I'm saying? And it's just been over those since then. I made DJ for the Midwest. Man, I got to make this official too, bro. I, I mean, I heard of the My Mixtapes apps, bro. But the My Mixtapes apps ain't get too big as it was until Meal Ticket was a part of it, bro. Man, because, bro, I've been in the streets trying to bring the trap. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I'm trying to help people get heard. 
Right. Right. Is it is it true you make beats two mil ticket? Man, I'm doing whatever that that other guy coming to with me. <laughs> so what's next with you, bro? I, I kind of look at you as like a guy that probably will do a record label or something like that. Man, all I can tell you is man, just uh, stay tuned. You know, like me and my boy, uh, no ID, down there, man. Shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? We doing this fucking in the streets on TV. You know what I'm saying? Like we going to uh, uh, the different hoods and like we getting out there with, uh, you know, with people and shit. Man, ask them about their own experience with their uh, friends. Uh-huh. And just uh, trying to, uh, to help them get some notoriety and stuff like that. You feel Man, that's what's up, bro. I've been checking you out on the interviews, too, bro. That looked like a decent lane you could be in, too. Yeah, I'm going to be consistent with it. You know, we got a lot more to come to win the Bay Area right now. Right. So we got a few, uh, you know what I'm saying, no rappers to get up with. We're going to fly to Oakland to win San Francisco right now. We're going to Oakland. Yeah, and I got something else I want to ask you, too, Mill Ticket. I get this in my DM a lot. I don't know if you've seen DJ L interview with Zach TV. And he kind of made a statement in the interview about G. Erbo being the closest he's seen to Tupac. I'm not sure if you've seen that. Yeah, that's true. Like, man, shout out to DJ Hill, man. Though. Like, that's one young brother, though. He speaks a lot of real shit. He do. Like, so, like, so people need to, uh, to tune in to him and listen to him. Because, like, this nigga, he'll tell you that ain't nobody else going to tell you that you should get from school or, 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 or uh, from home, though, these days. Man. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. So what's next with you, bro? Any new music? Any new mixtapes? Any new people choices? Man, bro, look, uh, on Halloween I'm dropping uh, Nightmare and Chirac. Uh. And um, and it's gonna have a host of um, I'm a local um artist on there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? From this town, they out of town. Uh. And I'm um, a few major artists. Uh. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna all be exclusive on tracks, and it's dropping exclusively on my mix. Uh, man, I'm waiting on it, bro. Any new music, anything like that, I get my hands on it. I'm going to post it for you a hundred million times, big guy. So if the people want to get up with you. Because me and he ain't got some new stuff that he's going to drop off and I'm hosting. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So be on the lookout, though, for that. Most definitely. You know, so I'm so hard to keep pushing for the longest. Yeah. And, um, you know what I'm saying? Though he's going to, uh, he's going crazy. Man, where can the people get at you at? What's the social media sites, Mill Tigger? Man, on IG, it's the DJ Mill Ticket, that's the DJ M-I-L, T-I-T-K-E-T, Channel 7 3, Twitter, DJ Mill Ticket, 7013. Snapchat, DJ Mill Ticket, man. Get up with you, I'm fucking with the people, I'm the people. Man, that's love, bro. Also, before I get up out of here, bro, I want to let you know the fans want to know, man, is it going to be a, you hosting any new mixtapes with Top Shotter, bro? Because you and Top Shotter be going crazy, bro. Yeah, though, like, uh, he actually just called me out with those kids back in the studio, though, uh, finishing out some shit. Okay. And, gee, so, look, so, me, him doing something, and, um, and, um, be on the lookout, though, for, uh, um, a thing, though, with me and her. Uh-huh. Um, that's what me and he's uh-huh. And I'm doing, uh, the feature in 22, uh, for, uh, for, uh, King Louis shit. Uh-huh. Yeah, I see you working, big homie. I appreciate the love, bro. Yeah, was in them streets, night and working hard, never sleep. I ain't no never granted. That was it to me. I ain't see no family. Wasn't nobody fucking with me. Sitting in that trap. Got a hundred fifty cluckers with me. No bullshit. Go my bitch. I serve the city.